Hello, welcome back my angels. I hope you are being entertained and you are receiving all the love and light that the energetic readings I'm being guided to bring to you for our Sagittarius readings for the month of February. And as I will be closing out this evening with your first half of all the readings that I'm going to do for your February energies, because as I mentioned in the earlier videos that I did today, I'll be tapping into your updates for the month of February next week. I am now going to be moving on to uh, a charmed reading. And this is your February charm reading, but because Valentine's Day is tomorrow, we're going to make it specifically guided towards love and valentine's and just love in general because like i said sagittarius we should be loved and we should love with our hearts every day of our lives um you will be seeing shortly your shadow work reading which will be posted you'll get your charm readings the valentine's day <laughs> or love edition and then we'll follow up with some prompt to love readings and then we'll close out before we start tomorrow with our valentine's day reading for sagittarius and i'll try to do a reading that covers both those of you who are in a relationship and especially for those of you who are single because you deserve love too and you still could have a valentine's that might be lurking around the corner that you don't know about so i'm quite curious to see what the cards bring well thanks again let's get off with the chatter cleansing the space both in yours and mine's angels guide my hands to the charms that bring forth the energies and messages that you see fit we're going to be using three different forms of charms i've expanded the types of charms that i'm using and we'll of course end it with some cards at least three cards with the tarot and maybe your oracle okay so let's first start with some words or phrases okay well we have wow i like it what did i say valentine's day if you can see it, it's kind of difficult we have the word crush so let me just put my little tab here so maybe it'll show up better on the blue so definitely valentine's day edition crush so there's definitely somebody who is crushing on you there's a there's the word parent so this person could be a co-parent with you or this person could have even spoken to their parents or your parents about to crush on you you know like when it's your next door neighbor or it's the son of your dad's business partner or something i feel like i sense that they've gone to your parent in conversation mentioning you know that they have an interest in you kind of doing it the old school romantic way you know would you mind if i asked your son you know daughter whatever the case may be um you know on a date you know how would you feel about that so yeah i can see why the parent connection could come in either that way or that someone who co-parents with you or feels that you would be a good person to you know procreate with in the future um definitely is feeling you we get the word frown so some people might frown upon this particular person that has an interest of crushing you could be for many reasons it could be maybe because it's person of the same sex could be because the person is older or younger right uh culturally you're different or for religious reasons so not everyone might welcome this attraction that this person has with you definitely this is a relationship or at least the person who is crushing on you is very ambitious not only are they ambitious as far as you know, how they want to be with you in the relationship and pursuing the relationship. But I think they're just like a real go-getter in life. Let me see. We get the word to the and his. So we're definitely talking about a male here who's doing the crushing. Maybe something he, he, you know, he wants to take you to or connect to you with him concerning him. Laugh. This person either loves your laugh or they in, or you enjoy laughter with this person. And then we have gal. His gal. Look at that. His gal. Interesting. So we start out with the energy of a crush. Let's go to our other 
Okay. Oh, we have the cute little panda bear. Look at this, like mama bear. Remember I told you this person could see you as being like a, a great person to, to be co-parent with, or maybe you are already co-parent. So that's like, you know, mama bear and baby bear, you know? Um, or, the, or that just is a cuddly feeling they feel when they're around you, like your security blanket to them or vice versa. We also get the dinosaur. So you could have a son together or um, you both talked about having a son together. And, and you could have an appreciation for dinosaurs. Or if you have a son already, your son has a fascination with dinosaurs. We get the rainbow. Wow, didn't I say it could possibly also be a same-sex relationship? So I do feel for some of you, your crush, you could have someone crushing on you that is of the same sex, but they're not quite sure. They're not quite sure if you go that particular way, or that could be the, the energy of the parent frowning because they might feel that if you do have an attraction to the same sex that your parent doesn't know and they may frown upon the relationship. Look, person is all giddy. They definitely have giddy feelings for you. The laughter cracking up. Like, I feel like this person brings a lot of joy and laughter into your life. We got the pumpkin here. They, they, you know, I get that's the feeling like your sweetest pumpkin, or maybe you've gone to to like Halloween parties together. You've gone trick or treating. Halloween could be a holiday, or that you both celebrate, or um, that you're both into. You both can be into um, movies like Ghostbusters and stuff like that. So Halloween, your birthdays could even be around Halloween, um, one of you. Um, and we get airplane. This is like, this person could be thinking about taking you somewhere. This person could actually, if they're ambitious, who knows? They could be a pilot. They might be going to pilot school. They have a, a personal airplane or they like to fly or they're a frequent flyer. They travel a lot. Let's finish out the circle. We get to crown the princess. You know, definitely they see you as their princess, someone that they want to spoil. Um, they want to do and be and have the bigger things in life for you. Or oh, there's a Valentine's Day heart. Definitely they have fond feelings for you. That could be resembling the candy that they might bring you tomorrow <laughs> in the shape of a heart. Christmas, you oh, you I. I, with the Santa, the little snowman here, I think you also like to celebrate. I think you both are big holiday lovers. You both like the energies of the holidays. You have a lot in common. Maybe you both like to decorate for the holidays, and the holidays mean a lot to you. Because, you know, not all men, or some women even aren't into the holidays. It's going to birthdays. You celebrated birthdays together, or they're planning to do something big for your birthday. Who knows? Maybe, you know, they'll ask you out formally on your birthday. Let's just pick one more out to, to close out these particular ones. Oh, their heart has been wounded in the past. And I think they see you as someone that is finally letting them open up from past hurt and pain. And they feel like they can fall in love again because of you. Okay, so I'm going to put couple here and a few more here and let's see what we get I, <laughs> I thought I had my wand but I don't have it handy okay we get the rose again you know the flower of their eye um, the rose symbolizing love we get nine and three quarters this is um station this could be like a fair again traveling this could be like a token of the money you know they're a traveler so they have money from different parts of the world wow look at this the eiffel tower what did i say they might want to take you to paris oh isn't that nice we have an elephant here so there could be an elephant in the room like i said it could be that maybe this is someone of the same sex that likes you or maybe it's someone that has a crush on you that they don't feel that you might give them the light of day 
they could have a crush on you and they could be very close to you, but you just look at them as a friend. So the elephant in the room could be sometimes when they're talking to you about their love interest, you don't know that they're actually talking about you. Okay? So that's 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 a good one. We also get this person like to parasail, they like to sail. So this person might have a boat or, or they like they would like to take you on a boat or they go sailing. Like I said, this person is an adventurer. I, I really feel this person is an adventurer. They have a lot of tales to tell, um, very char char um, charismatic. Horseshoe, luck. So luck will be with you with this person or this person is very lucky. This could be even the luck that you tend to have in your life can be attached to a connection with you and this person. This kind of reminds me, I'm trying to think what this really looks like. It could be a picture frame. It could be an ornament. Again, celebrating holidays. Um, you might have... This person might have bought you a special ornament for your tree this year. Do we have Paris again? Wow, the Eiffel Tower. So I something about Paris and the Eiffel Tower. Maybe this is some place where you've mentioned to this person that you would like to visit or see, or this person daydreams that they will propose to you in Paris. You'll get married in Paris. Maybe both of you are in the fashion or music industry. You have, or you speak French, or both of you can have, you know, come from French descendants. But there's some strong connection to Paris and the Eiffel Tower. We also get the bird. You know, this person likes to soar. They like to, to travel. They're, I believe they're like a free spirit like yourself. And then we have a fork here. So dining, whining, and dining. This person could also be a cook. I feel like this person is a jack of all trades. Like they do a lot of things. Let's just pick one more. The starfish. Yeah, they, they scuba dive, they, they do, they're very active, water, air, sea. It's like they really encompass the energy of all the elements. So you definitely have someone that's crushing on you. Possibility that it could be of the same sex. If not the same sex, it's someone that you're already potentially close to. And you could even been talking to them about their love interest, but you don't know that you're the love interest that they're talking to. So this person is closer to you than you think. They enjoy your love and laughter. You have a lot in common. You shared a lot of experiences or travel together, um, plans together. You discuss family. If this is someone that you have been with already in the past or you have children together, you have that time connection there you could have suffered or this person could have suffered a broken heart in the past and this relationship that they have with you is gives them the nurturing and the love that they so you know desperately need and desire let's close it out mother messages we have about this crush anything in particular for valentine's day we've already confirmed with the ch charms that there is a person that's crushing could be of the same sex. Okay. Okay, what do we get? Okay, we get the devil, the magician, the ace of cups, bottom of the deck, the emperor. So this person, like I told you, this per this this person, I feel like their energy, even if it's a, even if it's a female who is very in tune with and she is more connected to her masculine side, you know, um, her divine male energy more so than her feminine, definitely will take charge in this relationship or your crush can feel that, you know, you're the type of person that they, they admire your strength, your beauty, your wisdom, and vice versa. You could look up to this person too. That's someone that you respect because they're a great leader. That um, They're wise, they're kind, they're loving, they're a great provider. They have the potential to be a great provider. With the energy of the devil accompanying that, okay, 
you could be tempted or this person has been tempted in the past to connect with you romantically but for, 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 but for whatever reasons um either on your side or both sides they never approached you before the person can find you to be addictive, um, something that they want, but then they're not sure if they should have it because they're so afraid if they get you, will they be able to sustain the relationship? Will you get bored with them? Can they keep you captivated? Can they keep you happy and, you know, and carefree? Will, you know, they're really concerned. I get this feeling like they're really concerned. Will you get bored with them? Because they know how Sagittarius can be a little flighty. We, we like our freedom and, we need constant excitement. And not to say this person couldn't bring that, but these are the things that they're thinking because they really do want to be with you long term. So they're just trying to make sure that they think of every possible way um, of how they can not run into a pitfall in losing you. So they want to make sure that they do everything to, you know, <laughs> cover your every whim, so to speak, and, and whatever addictions or desires that you have. And you are very tempting to them. You you make them act out of their comfort zones in ways that they do sort of, but you take it to the next level. You allow them to soar and they dream through your dreams and they see visions through your eyes. Definitely with the magician, like I we started out in this reading with this charms. I really feel like this person who's crushing on you has a lot to offer. They're very gifted and talented. Their energy matches your energy. You both could be, you know, A1 leaders, the top of your game, the top of your craft, um, very skilled, um, and, and, and likes to live life. And offering offering with everything that they have they choose you to offer their cup of love they choose you to partner with they choose you to mend their broken heart so i hope that you get to hear from this person tomorrow and if they've never come forth to reveal their feelings to you maybe tomorrow will be the day maybe tomorrow will be the day that they give you that ticket to paris or france and maybe there in front of the eiffel tower they pronounce their love to you. What a great charmed reading. And I hope this is someone's life coming true to manifestation. And if it is your story, I'd love to hear it. Have a great Valentine's Day.